and he kept playing with my wallet and he kept getting my card out. Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. Welcome to today's vlog. I woke up, I went to the gym. Yes, I'm in the same clothes as yesterday because I fell asleep in them and I was like, I'm going to the gym. I'm in gym clothes. I'm just gonna get them dirty, so might as well just stay in them. So, I went to the gym, brought home coffee for my hubby. He is working in his office and yeah, I just picked up the kitchen. We're just gonna get things done for today. We have baseball tonight. Practice, that is, no games, because the tournament starts this weekend, so we're so excited. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, good job. Two hours later. All right, y'all, I ran to the store. I didn't take the camera because I was in and out. I had like 30 minutes before I knew Lincoln was gonna wake up from his nap, and right when I pulled in, he woke up. So I'm gonna make some tostadas for lunch, and then I got pizzas for tonight. I'm gonna make pizza and cauliflowers tonight before baseball, and yeah, so let's get started. Showing up, don't wanna have to wait tonight, wait tonight. Bets are off, I'm gonna find my way tonight, way tonight. Won't you talk to me? I wanna hear you so Lunch is made and now we're gonna feast. Two hours later. Y'all, so the craziest freaking thing happened. Me and Lincoln, we had to go back to Target because Lincoln had pooped in his diaper and I realized I didn't have any more diapers. I found one and that was it. So I needed diapers. So we went to Target and we were just cruising around Target and he kept playing with my wallet and he kept getting my card out and I was like, if you get my card out, you're gonna lose it, you're gonna lose it. I put it back in my wallet you know we finished blah 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 and so then it's been like two hours and one of my friends messaged me and she's like i know this may sound weird but i think i may have had your credit card and i thought it like her account got hacked so i didn't message back and then she messaged me again yes and then she messaged me back and she's like no really i have your card nicole and i'm like Wait, Lincoln was playing with it. Hold on. So I go out in my car and I look and my credit card's not there. Well, it's like a Chase like debit card. It's not a credit card. And I go and I'm like, I did probably freaking drop it. So now I gotta go to her work, pick up my card. Yeah. It's such a small world. She got it and she took it because she knows me. She's like, I know Nicole, which thank God because I hate calling and canceling them. <sighs> literally so excited that it was one of my friends who found it because I would have been so sad not to have my card. I want to know how it got over here though. Like did she find it in the Target parking lot and then come over there to like go back to work and she knew she could just like message me. I'm like how did my card go right over here guys? But Louie already checked the account. Nothing was charged on it so that's good. There's still good people here out in the world, guys. Still good people out in the world. A few moments later. We are back in the car and I have my card. She said one of her coworkers was shopping at Target for her lunch and she found the card and she started looking the person up on Facebook and she saw that myself and her coworker were actually like common friends. Then her coworker, the one that didn't find the card, said, oh yeah, I know her, let me message her. So then she messaged me. And at first when I saw it, I didn't respond because the message said, hey, could you please message me? I think we may have your credit card. I know it sounds weird, but if you could message me. And then I thought it was like one of those hackers like trying to steal your information. And I've always been told, you don't open those messages, you don't reply to them. So I just like, you know, threw it by the wayside. But then she said, it's your Chase card. My coworker found it in the parking lot. And then it clicked 
Lincoln was playing with my card and I kept saying like, it's gonna fall out and I'm not gonna be able to find it. We're back. Good? Yep, got my card. Got it, get it, got it good. Yeah. Can you believe she knows how to whistle, Dad? Amazing. After so much practice. Amazing. You got it. I missed one part. <laughs> That's okay. You've been trying and practicing so hard. She got it. She's good. I'm good. I got cauliflower buffalo wings in the oven right now. Ew, ew. We're going to have that in pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. oh yeah, before we leave for said, practice. Don't you, know. don't you know. Yesterday on Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me some questions and I wanted to answer as many as I could, but I only got around to three of them because our day got really busy. So as the cauliflower is in the oven right now and Lincoln's finishing his nap, I decided I would answer some more of the questions. So we'll just do a rapid fire. All right, so the first question is, please post some cooking with Lewis. That is definitely coming. Lewis loves to bake. Not so much cook, he likes to bake. So definitely baking with Lewis will have to happen and he will he will love that. Are you a Starbucks gold member? No, I am not. I've never heard of such a thing, but I guess with how much Starbucks we drink, we probably need to check it out. Maybe you get some rewards. <laughs> Do I have any Muslim friends? Yes, we actually have a lot of Muslim friends. We don't discriminate. We love everyone. Opinion on the James Charles scandal, Tati's side or James' side? All right, so... I don't like to really address drama because I'm not one for drama, but I will say Tati made some very valid points and I think fame does change people and it's sad in a way because somebody's career could be changed so fast, but yet you kind of have to watch how you behave and even like a smaller channel, like I can't be going out like getting drunk, doing all of that stuff and then I'm over here vlogging like on a family channel, like who you want to be. And if you want to be somebody in the public eye and you have people watching you, like I have my children watching me. So that's enough to make me want to act appropriate. Um, but you really have to watch your reputation because if you don't have a good reputation, it can come and, you know, bite you in the earth. I'm definitely on Tati's side, but it's sad to see someone's career go down like that and end like that. You have to remember who brought you to where you are and you gotta respect that, so yeah. Can't let everybody go to the wayside because now you're in the public eye. That's my side. That's my side of the story. Next one, sorry this isn't a question, but I have to say you guys are amazing. We love you all. Oh, we love you too. And we think you guys are amazing. We are like, we're just shocked at how many people just like watch us every day and want to be a part of our family and want to be on this journey with us and it really melts our heart it really does the next one is what are some weird pregnancy symptoms you had when you were pregnant so the first sign huh what stuff stop hemp time we can help you before talking to your realtor about selling your home talk to us we can show you how to retain more profit and to let yourself from delay closing help you and your realtor achieve a higher sales to list ratio and help the buyer save more money now and later all this for no cost i can show you how to negotiate a win-win without lowering your price call me today man this looks good this is sleek i like how it fades Use your equity to get ahead, consolidate payments, split equity and divorce. Oh, find you. <laughs> Buy investment properties. You guys, if you guys need a loan, call Lewis today. <laughs> Hashtag self promo. But let me finish up some of these questions. What are some weird pregnancy symptoms you had when you were pregnant? So the first sign of me being pregnant is I actually no longer wanted coffee. Coffee sounded so gross to me. So I don't know if that's weird, but that's a symptom. I get sick. I get nauseous for all of my pregnancies. I got nauseous like, oh, I'm basically out of commission the first trimester. So that's what like scares me of having any more because it's already busy in our household. So you can't have mama down. 
What is something you wish you knew before being a mom? People would always tell me when I was pregnant with Tatum, time's gonna go by so fast, time's gonna go by so fast, soak it in, time's gonna go by so fast. And it truly goes by so fast. I cannot believe Tatum is seven freaking years old. And I looked back at our Mother's Day video and to see him like, I remember being in that moment, but it goes by so fast that I technically like, don't remember like I remember being in that moment but I don't remember that feeling that I had so now when I watch the vlogs back of like Lincoln's birth I remember like being in that moment because I have like video footage of me in that moment if that makes sense so something I wish like I would have done is I wish I would have been vlogging then so I could have Tatum's birth the twins birth like I only have photos of that I have no video footage so you know that's something you're beautiful oh you're so sweet you're so sweet next one are you trying for baby number five no we are not currently trying for baby number five with how our schedule is this summer we decided that after September so I turned 30 September 28th and that week we are going to be in Mexico celebrating my dirty 30 and I don't want to be pregnant then because one I don't want to feel like crap and two I want to be able to be selfish and drink alcohol since I will not have my children with me and just let loose celebrate my dirty 30 and I don't want to be pregnant so we've decided that we are going to wait until September and then once my dirty 30 comes around we can go ahead and get started with baby number five so baby number five probably a pregnancy announcement sometime in October November December and if we were to get pregnant right now we would have another like winter baby and I really want our next baby to be like away from January because you know we have three kids in january already when will you have baby number five by the way i love you guys so again baby number five after my dirty 30 which is in september we love you too favorite place to vacation i like anything tropical anything beach related i love cocktails on the beach i love tanning i love anything like that i remember like growing up every summer we would rent a beach house with my family and that is one of like my best childhood memories to know that we're going to get to do that this summer and it's going to be with my children like it means something like something so special to me so i love you know just san diego and a beach house what would you advise a family who's thinking of moving to texas from california don't do it stay in california california is amazing i wish we lived in california um that would be if we didn't live in texas i think i would live in california like honest to god um, the weather is way better in California than it is here in Texas. Um, but if I had to pick another state besides California, it would be Texas. The cost of living is way cheaper down here than in California. Our house is probably 300,000 less than what they pay for 1,600 and we have 4,300 square feet, if that makes sense. So big price difference. So the cost of living is way better here. Um, and I love it that you get really summer, spring, I didn't even say those right, I love how you get spring, summer, fall, and winters here, and we don't get snow, like very rarely we get snow, which is good for me because I, I don't like driving in snow, so I would say do it in a heartbeat. If you don't want to live in California anymore, Texas is a great place to live. And I do like how Texas is kind of in the middle, so it's like the same distance to fly to Florida to fly to California, so it's in the middle. It's not like you're going across the country. How did you know you were ready for baby number two? My son just turned one. So we were not trying when we found out we were pregnant with the twins. Um, first, I found out I was pregnant, let alone found that I was pregnant with twins, about died in the ultrasound room because I was like, do what? <laughs> I'm having twins. Um, I had a lot of self-doubt when I found out I was pregnant with the twins. Um, we weren't ready for baby number two. They were definitely not planned, but I feel like everything happens for a reason. And now I couldn't imagine not having them. I couldn't imagine not having Tatum's age and the twins age. I love the age gap. I will say I like Tatum's and Lincoln's age gap better. Um, fighting wise, fighting over stuff, 
that kind of happens with the older kids versus Tatum and Lincoln. They don't do that at all. Tatum is very like nurturing to Lincoln, so kind of like more so as a big brother rather than Camden who he looks up to Tatum. Like Tatum's still learning boundaries and all of that. So Tatum may do something in a negative way and Camden's old enough to know. And so then he does that same thing because he's looking after his older brother, which Lincoln is too young to know what Tatum's doing wrong. So that, I like the age gap that they're closer together, but then I do like the age gap between Lincoln and Tatum. A few moments later. Sorry about that. I was changing out the cauliflower and making dinner. Okay, we're almost done here. Let's see. What toothpaste do you use? Your teeth are always so white. I just use the Crest whitening, nothing special. I did try some other toothpaste, but I honestly didn't like it, so I stopped. So yeah, that is it for all the questions that I screenshotted. All right, that is it. I hope you guys liked that little Q&A segment. If you guys ever have any other questions, go ahead and comment down them below. I would be more than happy to answer them. I am an open book and I don't keep anything hidden, so you want to know, I will tell you. But. I'm going to finish up the cauliflower, put the pizza in, and then we got to go to baseball. We are now at Tay Tay's baseball. Camden actually doesn't have baseball practice today, so only Tatum. The nice thing about this baseball practice is there's a park here, so the kids can just run their little hearts out. Ball. You see everyone playing baseball and basketball? Yeah? That'll be you someday. Yeah. Well, guys, we just got a phone call. We're supposed to go to Disney after our San Diego trip with Louis' family, and we may instead be going to Hawaii. <laughs> it's not hard to get me to go to Hawaii. <laughs> I've never been. <laughs> I always wanted to go. Can you imagine the Instagram photos and the footage that we can get in Hawaii? I think I'm gonna go ahead and have to get my drone. I know, right? Definitely. Tatum had a great practice and now we're home and it's time to get these kids in the shower. We got an early morning tomorrow.